Hello everyone. Welcome back to Adventure Recaps today I am going to explain a drama, adventure and fantasy movie called 300. The film begins with the birth of a child, and the city named Sparta is shown. There, they check to see if the child is okay, or if he has any flaws. The defaulted kids were ended there now, a kid was born and his training starts when he becomes 7 years old, and he was sent far from his city. The citizens of Sparta were taught how to sacrifice themselves for others, and the kid was beaten badly during that training. After his training, he was sent to a terrible forest for exam. Now he faces a ferocious wolf at that cold night, but he ends that wolf, and when he returns after ending it, he was made the Sparta's king for his bravery. The king was named Leonidas and the time passes gradually. One day, a soldier arrives to Leonidas whose king has a huge army for a war, and their king considers himself God. Leonidas says tell me why you come here? The soldier says, land and water, and our king wants you to obey us, but Leonidas says you came from a long way away. The soldier also brought some cut heads of the kings and their crowns to make Leonidas scared while showing them. The soldier insults him, and Leonidas becomes furious on it. He ends the soldier along with his companions as he knows if their king will discover this, he will attack us with his huge army. He will end our companions, but Leonidas doesn't have a huge army of soldiers to fight even then he wants to fight, but he can't take this decision himself. Even he was the king of Sparta, but there was a custom that he has to go oracles if he wants to fight in war. The oracles were the girls who convey the god's message to people, but there were some priests who caught and kept those girls. Leonidas reaches the priests and tells them everything and says if we will not fight in the war the king considers himself God will attack us with his army and will end us. He will make the people of Sparta his slaves and the priests say after hearing him, okay tell us what you have brought as a present for us. Leonidas gives them a lot of gold, but the priests tell him that he can't fight with them right now because it is August and Sparta can't fight in this month. Leonidas becomes enraged and says we all will be ended if we will not fight in the war, then the priest gives him a message from Oracle Girl that was from the god. He tells everything will be ruined if Sparta will fight in this war, Leonidas becomes depressed after hearing all this and then leaves. Meanwhile, the companions of the king considers himself god arrived to those priests when he left, and he was Leonidas' enemy. Everything the priests told the Sparta's king Leonidas were fake because they also want this, and the king has promised them to give a lot of gold and pretty girls in return. The girls who will convey God's message to them. The evil priests also want Sparta to destroy Leonidas was worried when he returned, and his queen asks what happened why our king is worried. Then he tells I don't want to lose the thing that I love the most. The queen says after hearing this, don't think this because there is no responsibility on you of me and our son. Just think you are a free human and what a free human can do in this situation. After hearing this from the queen, Leonidas calls his special 300 people the next day, and they were the best soldiers of Sparta, there were no soldiers like them anywhere. Now they decide they will face the king who considers himself a god, but they also know he has million of dangerous soldiers, but even then they were brave and were not scared of death. Meanwhile, a few people arrive when they were leaving from there, they were from Sparta they say when the oracles have told you then why are you going for the war? You can't go and one of them was the companion of that king, and he has bought those priests who lied to Leonidas. This man also wants Sparta to lose the war due to it, he will get the command after it. Leonidas says I am not going on the war, but just on vacations and these 300 soldiers are for my protection. Now he moves toward a mountain with his 300 soldiers, the place where the army of the king will arrive. A man is shown chasing them when they were on their journey, this man walks while bending, and his back was hunched over. Now they were moving forward slowly. They find a village on the way that was completely burned, it was set on fire, and they become furious after seeing it. Meanwhile, an injured boy comes to Leonidas and falls down while coming near him. The boy tells a few people arrive here who have paused and they have ended everyone here. The boy also dies after telling this, hearing this, Leonidas' companion says those are dangerous Persian ghosts. They can't be stopped, but Leonidas says our sword will decide whether they die or not. 
They move forward and find many Persian planes coming towards them, but it starts raining heavily, and the storm arrives suddenly. There was thundering as well, and the planes drowned because of this terrible storm that were coming to attack them. They become happy on it and celebrate it. A man was silent there, that was Leonidas as he knows the danger isn't over yet. They see from another mountain and there were a large number of planes who want to attack Sparta. The place where they were was dangerous, and they can save Sparta if they will defeat this army at this place. The army can't fight with them together on these paths meanwhile, the man with the hunched over back reaches Leonidas. The man who was chasing them, he says King, I also want to fight in the war with you, I want to be a brave soldier as my father was also a soldier, but my father left Sparta when I was born. As there was the custom the kids were ended who were defaulted hearing this, Leonidas asks him to lift his shield up as you can, but he can't do it. He says I value your this passion my friend, but you can't fight in the war because you are weak. After saying this, he leaves, breaking the man's heart. He throws everything down being enraged. On the other hand, the Persian army was moving forward, and these 300 people face them with bravery and end them. They get a huge victory, and then the king arrives who considers himself God. Leonidas says so, you are the one who consider himself God, and the king says your soldiers are brave, but you can't stand against me, and Leonidas says you have more slaves than brave soldiers. The king says I am a kind God so bend in front of me, and the world will bend in front of you. Hearing him, he says no possibility to bend in front of you, and since I ended you people my knees become stiff. The king becomes furious, and after leaving from there he sends his dangerous soldiers to them to fight. The soldiers were not humans, now those 300 people face those soldiers. They see a new hope after ending them, a hope to win. The king again sends his dangerous army and few animals. The companions of Leonidas also end them, now after defeated many times the king also becomes scared. The king who considers himself God becomes mad that he starts ending his own soldiers. One day, the man with the hunched over back comes to the king, and the king says how unkind your God is, who has made you like this. Obey me, I will give you everything you want, just tell me the path from where we can surround Leonidas and his companions. The path from where we can caught them and the man says I will tell you everything and tells everything to that king. On the other hand, the queen was attempting to send army support to her king, Leonidas in some way. None was ready to obey her, and the man who was with the king the queen calls him and says I need your vote. I will give you what you want if you will do this actually, the man wants the queen. The next morning, the man turned away from his talk when there was the turn to vote, and he puts allegation on the queen due to it, the queen becomes furious at him. She ends him with a knife, and they find few gold coins from that man. There was the picture of the king on the coins who consider himself God, now everyone understand that he was with that king who considers himself God and was everyone's enemy. They all call him a traitor, and now the truth of the queen was also proved. The man with hunched over back shows the king the way through which they can capture Leonidas and his companions. Meanwhile, a man comes to Leonidas and asks him to run from here because we are surrounded from all sides. He says after hearing this, we will not run as we are not coward and we will face them. Leonidas calls his companion and asks him to go back and tell everyone what has happened here. Tell everyone about our victory and then gives him a locket. He asks him to give it to the queen and the next morning, the king surround them with his army. One of his soldiers says obey our king and bend in front of him. The man arrives with the hunched over back he asks Leonidas to accept what the king is saying and save your people. Leonidas remembers the night when he has faced and ended that ferocious wolf. He throws his shield, bends down and then calls one of his companion loudly now being passionate his companion ends that soldier while moving upside him. He was saying to obey their king and the king orders to end everyone. There was the rain of arrows from all sides on them, and Leonidas also throws his weapon at him. His cheek starts bleeding, but even then Leonidas and his companions didn't bend in front of him, and they martyred with the passion of their victory. The companion whom Leonidas has given his locket, 
he gives it to the queen. The queen also understands that her king Leonidas is no more in this world. Now the man goes to the people who were never ready to help Leonidas he says our king didn't want victory, but he just didn't want to bend in front of anyone. He just wished to be remembered. After it, it is shown in the last scene of the movie the companion of Leonidas king who returned, he was telling this story to his 10,000 soldiers, that how their king faced them with bravery. There was the army of the king who considered himself God, and the soldier says the army still has the fear of our 300 people in their hearts. Attack and end them, they move toward them because they want to take revenge of their king Leonidas. This is the end of the film. Subscribe the adventure recaps for more content like this, and also leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie until next time, thanks for watching.